Hello, what's up? Ali here and welcome back to our corner. On this video, we'll show you how we can install MacBoot on any PS2 using Fontuna. This is for those who have a PS2 that is no longer compatible for MacBoot. Since Sony have basically blocked the exploit on this PS2 model, but with using Fontuna, you will be able to use and install MacBoot to play and back up your games. And before we proceed to our video, just a reminder that this is not to promote piracy. This is for those who want to preserve their games and the lens of their PS2. Since uh, especially on this day, once the lens becomes defective, it's very hard to get a good replacement. So this is actually a good method to really help preserve our games and our PS2 as well. And another reminder, for this to work, you will need a working MacBook. So unfortunately, you won't be able to do this if you're going to start from scratch. You will need someone with a PS2 that has a working MacBook to help you set a Fontuna. Or the easiest option is to simply get a memory card that has already been set up for Fontuna. But if you have a spare PS2 that has a working MacBook or has someone who can help you with the process, then you can uh, go ahead and follow this video. Let us start with our requirements. We are going to need a memory card, a USB or external hard drive formatted with FAT32, and our external hard drive to load our games. Later on this video, we will also show you how we can load or play games using external hard drive, how to update our application, and use storage on the XFAT instead of FAT32. Now let us go ahead and download our application. Let us start with downloading the latest version. This version fixes the issue where when you change the configuration of your MacBook, you will also lose the configuration of your Fontuna. That is the reason why sometimes all of a sudden, your Fontuna no longer loads. So this is also a good opportunity to update your version so that you can avoid losing the configuration and losing your Fontuna accidentally. You can find the link on our description. So just open the link and click on this part to download the file. Next, we are going to need to transfer this on our USB or external hard drive formatted with FAT32. Your hard drive or USB must be formatted to FAT32 for the PS2 to recognize the storage. To format a USB, simply right-click on the drive, click on Format, and choose FAT32. But you can only do this on USB or external hard drive that has a capacity of 32 gig and lower. If your hard drive has a 64 gig of capacity or higher, you will need a FAT32 formatter. You can find the link on our description, so just download and run the application. Here on the physical drive, choose the drive that you want to format. Make sure that you will be choosing the right drive because you don't want to format a wrong drive. Formatting a hard drive will definitely wipe out all of the data of the hard drive. Now, after choosing the drive, just click on Initialize, then check the Quick Format, then Start. Now, once we have our Fantuna in our storage, let us go ahead and insert this to our PS2. On our PS2, we have to load the U Launcher. This is the part where we are going to need a working MacBook because to be able to get to this part, you will have to load the MacBook and load the U launcher. Now from here, just go to the file browser and navigate to mass. Make sure that your USB thumb drive is properly inserted and has the right format. Now let us go ahead and run the Fantuna. Choose the port where your memory card is inserted. In our case, it is inserted on the first port. Now here we can either choose the manual or the auto installer. I would recommend choosing the manual installer. From here, you have the option which version to install. Simply check the icon that is highlighted. In our case, it is triangle, so let us go ahead and press triangle. This will install Fantuna on our memory card. Now all we have to do is simply wait. Once you see this, the installation is finished. Now we can go ahead and load and configure our Fantuna. 
on the main menu of your PS2, enter the browser. Enter the memory card where we have installed uh, the Fontuna. And here you should see a corrupted data in a white dot. This is an indication that you have successfully installed the Fontuna. So just go back. Going back on the browser, you should again see the white dot. Hit back again. And this should load the Fontuna along with your MacBook. The first thing that we need here is to update our application because by default, the OPL that is included on the default installation does not support XFAT. If you want to transfer a game that has a size of above 4 gig, you will have to use another application just to install some games. But if you're going to use a storage formatted with XFAT, you are not limited with the size of the game. So all you have to do is just simply transfer the game in the right directory. From here, let us go ahead and download the latest version of OPL first that supports XFAT. You will find the link on our description for the latest OPL version that supports XFAT. So just open the link and click on this part to download the file. Right click on the downloaded folder, extract it in its folder, then open the folder. Then transfer this on the root of our USB or external hard drive formatted with FAT32. After we update our OPL, our PS2 will now be able to use XFAT to load PS2 games. Now let us go ahead and prepare our external hard drive as well. So if we check the format of this hard drive, this one is already on XFAT. All you have to do is just transfer the backup of your own games either on the DVD folder or the CD folder. If the format of your game is in DVD, transfer it inside the DVD. If the format of your game is in CD, convert it to ISO and transfer it inside the CD folder. Let us go ahead and check the games inside our DVD folder. You will see here that we have some games above 4 gig, but we don't have to do anything or split the file. All we have to do is just simply transfer this in the right directory or folder. Now let us go ahead and insert our USB formatted with FAT32 to our PS2 and update our OPL first. Going back on our PS2, launch the ulaunch elf. Go to file browser. Make sure that our USB is uh, properly inserted. Go to mass. Highlight our OPL and press R1. Then copy. Go back. Go to MC0 or where your memory card is inserted. Open the boot folder, then paste. You actually don't have uh, to paste your OPL on a specific folder. But doing it this way, at least you'll know where your applications are placed. Now press the boot.elf. This will relaunch your Fontuna. Go to configure Fontuna. Select your confirm button. And here we can configure how we want to use our Fontuna. If you're going to do this on your past Fontuna, if you change any configuration here, it will affect your Fontuna itself. If that happens, then you won't be able to load your Fontuna. But on this version, we will be able to change the configuration without affecting the configuration of the Fontuna itself. Now go to the Configure OSDS YS options. Browse to Item 3, open PS2 Loader. And on the Path 1, browse our updated OPL. From here, we can go back. It's up to you if you want to do more configuration, but if you're already satisfied, then go ahead and save configuration. Now, if you want to set up your Fontuna to automatically load a specific application, go to configure E1 launch keys. And here on this part, you can set up your MacBook to load a specific application by holding a specific button. Now, let's say for example, we want to automatically load our updated OPL and we want to place it on the X button. So press the X button, select your updated OPL, go back, then save. Now if you want to automatically load your updated OPL, when your MacBook launches, all you have to do is press and hold the X button. Now let us go ahead and show you how to do that. Let us load our Fontuna, go to the browser, memory card, then hit back. 
press and hold the X button here, you see that it automatically loads our OPL. Now from here, all we have to do is just simply insert our external hard drive loaded with our games. If your games are not showing here, go to the settings. And make sure on the BDM start mode, it is on automatic. Now press OK, then save changes. Now to load game, simply highlight the game, then press X. So that is how we configure our Fantuna and load our games in our hard drive formatted with XFAT. Now if you want to manually load your game, after you boot Fantuna, just select the Open PS2 Loader. Now just go ahead and select your games. Now before we end the video, if ever you load your MacBook and you get stuck on this part, that means that your PS2 is having some issues loading the external hard drive when it loads the MacBook. So all you have to do is just unplug your external hard drive first and load your OPL before you insert your external hard drive. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye. That's what I expected from you.